This is John chapter 8 and verse 32. You know, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. You hear that, my man on the bike? God said, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. What? Your whole life you've been living a lie. In that Baptist church, in that Methodist church, in that Pentecostal church, in that Islam Muslim mosque. Even if you're into politics, you've been taught lies, my brother. According to the Bible, we are the Israelites. African Americans are from the tribe of Judah. That's your American blacks. If your father's from the Caribbean islands, God said you're from the tribe of Benjamin. You so called Haitian, the tribe of Levi. You Mexicans, tribe of Issachar. Right. You Native American Indians, the tribe of Gang. But what did they tell you? They said that you black, you colored. That's why we're reading this verse right here. Read it again for them, brother. And ye shall know the truth. And ye shall know the truth. Read the future prophecy. Read. And the truth shall make you free. And that same truth shall make you free. That same truth shall make you free. Sister, let me ask you something. What's the truth according to the Bible? You don't know? I'm going to get it for you. Show what the truth is. Because God said, He shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. So we're going to show what the biblical truth is. Come on. This is Psalms chapter 119 and verse 142. Yeah. You know the Bible? You familiar with it? You ever read it? Coming up? Or even that? This is the book of Psalms in the Old Testament. Chapter 119, verse 1. Verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. God's righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. It's going to be here forever. Read. And thy law is the truth. What's the truth? You hear that? Huh? You got to come closer. Uh-uh. Come on. Tell me. It says thy law is the truth. Thy law is the truth. That's right. Are you willing to keep God's law? Do you keep God's law? Huh? Oh no, I'm not really. Okay, you don't got to be religious to keep God's law. Like for example, thou shalt not kill. You ever kill somebody? Uh, now you ain't only criminate yourself now. No. But if you never kill nobody, then you keep it alone. Alright? Uh thou shalt not commit adultery. Are you married? No. So you might be in transgressing in that law. Alright, so now you gotta work on that. Read what you got for me again. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Uh-huh. And thy law is the truth. That law, nigga, God's law is the truth. Give me that in Exodus 20. I'm going to show you, since he spoke about adultery, because that's big in the black community, right? You got a boyfriend? You see that? God said that that law is under one of the Ten Commandments, which is what? Thou shalt not commit adultery. You got fornication under there as well. Free. This and we always guilty of that. We ain't trying to shame you like all of these. Oh, you did that. No, we always doing it, but we stopped when that's we read right. when uh, the Bible was taught to us. Come on. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 14. Bring it out. Thou shalt not commit adultery. See what God said? That's one of the Ten Commandments. You ever heard of the Ten Commandments? God said, Thou shalt, shalt not commit adultery. You know what that means? It means being with a man and not having a husband. God considers that fornication, adultery. Give me that in Hebrews 13 and 4. Hebrews 13 and 4. And at any time, feel free to stop me if you got any more questions. All right? But first and foremost, we gotta understand that you ain't black, we not African American, we are the Israelites of the Bible. That's right! African Americans are really from the tribe of Judah. All right, is that is that your lineage? Where your fathers uh, come from? From down here? Then you would be from the tribe of Judah. That's the tribe that most of us is from. Read. This is Hebrews chapter 13 and verse four. Yeah. Us being the children of God, we was given laws. And that's what I'm expounding to you right now. The laws that was given to God's people. To your people. Come on. Marriage is honorable in all. I said marriage is honorable in all. Right? Because we only get older. So you got to settle down with that boyfriend. Y'all got to work it out and see if he is marriage material. And then y'all got to get married. You hear me? That boyfriend is supposed to be your fiance. It's supposed to be your husband. Right? That's, that's the stages of life. As life progresses, eventually we gotta get married, right? And have children. That's, that's how God ordained it from the very beginning. Read what you got. 
Marriage is honorable in all. Let's say we don't want to follow God's plan. We don't want to get married. There's a stipulation for that. Come on. And the bed undefiled. God said, whatever you do with your husband in the bed is undefiled. All right? Come on. Meaning it's your business. It ain't our business. It ain't the pastor's business. It ain't nobody's business that you and your husband do in the bedroom. Read. But whoremongers. But whoremongers. You know what a whoremonger is? A whoremonger is a, is a man that sleeps with a lot of thoughts. He's a pimp. He's a player. That's so we think. Basically, he a dude that lays down with a lot of women, and he don't plan on marrying none of these women that he laid down with. Not one. That's a whoremonger. Read. And adulterers. God will judge. Adulterers, God will judge. And God will judge hoes, thoughts, city girls, pimps, players. He's going to judge them. You know how he judges them? He get them STI. That's right. STI. Women, did you see she get, she get out the shower, she's still stinking. Why? Because she got an STI. She got a sexually transmitted infection, sexually transmitted disease. You understand that? That's a judgment from God. That's why it's very serious that we learn these laws right here. It's extremely serious. What you got for me? Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 58. Bring it up. If thou wilt not observe to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, that thou may fear the glorious and fearful name of the Lord thy God, then the Lord thy God will make thy plagues wonderful. God said, if we don't want to do these commandments, he said he will make our plagues wonderful. Look, look at that stone right there. Look at that stone pillar right here. Look what you see right there. HIV. Somebody took the time out their day to spray paint HIV on that pillar. Why? Obviously, HIV is a big enough topic for them to stop what they're doing right there. Why? Because HIV affects the black community. STIs affects the black community. You got babies born with AIDS in our, in our neighborhood. Born with HIV. Up from the time that they were born, they already got it. They mama's got the video. They come out, and when they come through the, uh, the vaginal uh, birth, the birthing pool, the birthing pool, they come out blind. Doctors got to uh, inject them with, with uh, penicillin. By the they, they just, they, baby shouldn't have to go through that. You know that's not normal, right? That's that's the results of sin. So come on, let's break down marriage some more. Give me that in Deuteronomy 22. About if a man lay down with a maid. This is what's supposed to happen. Back before there was not Atlanta, before there was not America, when we was ruling, we ruled by these set of laws when we was in the East. God said that if there was a man and there was a woman found laying together, the elders of the city, us men, we would make y'all two get married. One, two. Yep. And guess what? Down south, down south, y'all practice that, y'all practice that uh, in the form of shotgun marriage. You ever heard that before? I thought we should be real big down here. Meaning if, if you sleep with a uh, father's daughter, he forced you to get married. That's according to the law. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 28. Read it out. If a man find a damsel that is a virgin, which is not betrothed, and lay hold on her. Virgin just means a young woman of a maritable age. Meaning this young lady is older than 20, and she ain't married yet. So if a man find a woman, let's say he go to uh, Mango's Caribbean restaurant. He go to, he go to Wells Fargo. He see a girl, he see a nice girl, he wanna speak, he wanna talk to her. Hey sure you look nice. Can I get your number? I'm not from here, I'm not in town. And guess what? They eventually lay down together later on that night. Right? Does that happen in Atlanta? Every you know Atlanta's the only city that's open. I don't know what the hell wrong with y'all down. Atlanta's the only city that's open during the uh, pandemic. So guess what? All the Chicago people come down here, all the New York people come down here, all the people from everywhere else, they come down here and they party. And guess what they do? They the girls. And they breaking this law right here. Come on. And lay hold on her and lie with her and they be found. Then the man that lay with her shall give unto the damsel's father 50 shekels of silver. And, shall, and she shall be his wife because he hath humbled her. He may not put her away all his days. See that? He may not put her away all these days. All his days. Now again, who is God talking to, sister? Again, what's your nationality according to the Bible? I don't know what America talks to. What's your nationality according to the Bible? It's from the tribe of Judah. You understand that, right? How do you understand that? So you just taught me that. Why? Because the man told you that? No, you just taught me. 
I'm gonna show you. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. I'm gonna hit you real quick. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Who is God talking to? We say, I'm gonna bring you into Egypt again with ships. Then you're talking to his chosen people, Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Bro, what's your nationality according to the Bible? Huh? I'm learning it myself. No, according to the Bible, there's 18 nations in this book. What nation would you consider yourself a part of in this book? If you don't know, you say you don't know, that's okay. Because we're here to teach you. According to the Bible, we are God's chosen people. That's right. You understand that, brother? You understand that, sister? That's who we are. The reason why we went to slavery is because we broke the laws that God gave us. Like, for example, God said, thou shalt not commit adultery, we want boyfriend and girlfriend. So I'm proving to you that God is talking to, these, to us in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. Come on. Deuteronomy, chapter 1, and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. To the Chinese. All Israel. To the Africans. All Israel. So Moses spoke these words to all Israel. That's who we are today. Right. That's right. But something had to have happened for us to forget this. You know what happened? Slavery happened. Right. Slavery happened. That's what happened. Come on. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. So brother, how did we get here to the shores of America? How did we get here? How did we get to Atlanta? Slave ships, right? Remember that part of history? Slave ships, you know why we went into slavery? One word, sin, sin. That's why we come out here and teach y'all the law of God. We try to raise y'all understanding up in the Bible. Bring it out. Why? Because time is short, bro. We have to come back to our heritage. Right. We have to come back to the knowledge of who we are and what we must do. Teach. You understand that? Like, for example, even simple things like any religious 21 and 5. You can real quick. Because you know one thing about our people, if I sit down here and go through a whole history lesson, a lot of our people will sit down and listen, but once the laws come out, then that's when we're going to see if you really believe or not. That's, that's why we like to teach the laws first to see if you if you really believe, if you really love the Lord, right? Because you, you love God, raise your hand if you love God. You love God. Everybody say we love God, and now we're going to see it. Even brothers and sisters say they love God, but guess what? When things get rough, why? Because his law is what proves that we love God and not agree. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Oh, man, because according to God, you are a priest of God. You are one of his sons, right? Read. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So that means to make baldness on your head? Make your head bald like Michael Jordan, like Charles Barkley. You know, talking about shaving your head bald. God said don't do this. That's against his laws. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Remove your mask. You, you shave your beard, bro? Ah, look at that baby face. You a grown man. You shouldn't walk around like that. Right. You see that? God said what? Neither shall what? Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. That's the law of God. So stop shaving that beard. Let it grow. Right. Come on, some more. Nor make any cuttings in their flesh. You got any tattoos? You got tattoos, sir? I got tattoos. But guess what? When I heard the truth, I stopped getting tattoos. Teach. Why? Because this law right here, read that again. They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. Right, for the dead, that's what's going to making cuttings in their flesh for the dead. A lot of tattoos we get is of our dead relatives, right? Why they do that? Why? It's an old ancient Canaanite custom. It's, 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 a, uh, it's an old satanic custom. Then we do the round of 22 and 5. Y'all understand who y'all are according to the Bible, right? What's your nationality? What you said, Judah, what you said? Of course, in the Bible. Uh, 
Your father's an American black man. You be from the tribe of Judah. Percent. You understand? West Indian? Benjamin. Hold on, sis. Hold on. Before you go, I'm going to leave you this one thing. Come on. Read what you got. Do the run! And that's why we teach the laws first. Because folks got a short attention span. Read. Do the run of me, chapter 22 and verse 5. Bring it out. The woman. That woman is what I want. Shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What do women wear today that pertain to men? Let's read that again. The woman, that's you, and this is my woman, shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What do modern women today wear which belongs to men? Where pertain means belongs to. What do women today wear that men wear? Huh? Shorts. Shorts, what else? Uh, boxes. Boxes, what else? What about you, bro? What you say? What do women wear today that men wear? That men are supposed to wear? Jeans. See that sis? Jeans talking about pants. Oh! Pants. I get what you mean. No, that's what the Bible says. Okay. And, and here, here's the flip side. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Likewise, can a man put on a woman's garment? Can a man put on... What's a woman's garment? Can, 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 can men wear skirts? A dress? Can men wear dresses? I think women wear pants. Yes, right. You understand that, sister? Oh, you didn't know that, huh? It's cold. Uh, it's cold, but guess what? It was cold in the 1800s. It's cold. It was, yo, your grandmama was cold. She didn't wear pants. Yes, your great grandmama was cold. She didn't wear pants. Bring it out. Your great 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 grandmother was cold. She didn't wear pants. So and if she did, pain. she wore up underneath her dress. Oh. You understand that's undergarment, sister. So in your repentance, coming back to your God, you got to start dressing how your God wants you to dress. That's, that's right. You see that that's supposed to be under the dress. So what if I wear a scrub? I'm a nurse, so that's bad. That's, that's, that's your job. You talking about on your own time. Right now, are you are you uh, in your scrubs? No. All right, so it's we ain't talking about the scrub. You talking about now. But it's cold. It's cold? It's cold. That's why that is supposed to be under the skirt. That's why. Right. I'm yeah. with this on. You feel me? So, like, no, I don't feel you got to put the skirt on top of that. No, I'm warm. I you love God? Yeah. You talk to you early, you say you love God. That's why I don't go over history lessons. As soon as the law comes out, that's when we get to it. I, I got to get straight to the point. Because I want to see who love God out here. So we got to go home. But you understand what I'm saying, sister? This is Zephaniah, chapter 1 and verse 8. Hey, you know, this, real quick. I know you got to go, but listen to this while on your way out. Come on. And it shall come to pass. Future prophecy. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice, that I will punish the princes and the king's children, and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. God said in his second coming, it shall come to pass that he's going to punish those that wear strange apparel. Sister, we learn how to dress here in America. That's what we learn to wear our undergarments openly like that. That's why we're so used to it. I know you're still young. From the time you was born, that's all you knew. But that's why you have to be born again. You love God, sister? You gonna put that skirt on. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission, we out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how we men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.